Oh, Bo. I have to film this really quick. I love you, KitKat. <laughs> Can you do this by yourself? Or you need me to do this? How am I big cat? KitKat. <laughs> Can you do this by yourself? Can you take a nap on your own or you need me for this? Do you want to say hi to our friends online, huh? Do you want to say hi to your virtual friends? No? Okay, grumpy boy. Hello, my friends. I have just finished editing today's video and realized that I never filmed an intro for you. So I have about two seconds to tell you what we're going to be doing today before I have to run out the door. So in today's video, we're going to be chatting about and looking at my most used everyday designer sneaker collection. It's not going to be an all encompassing shoe collection because some of the shoes I have in storage, other shoes I still have sitting in their boxes underneath the couch and in different hidden spots around my home. But I wanted to share with you the shoes that I really keep next to the door, either because I wear them constantly or because I want to make an effort to wear them. Some of these shoes, I'm just going to give a last shout out to before they get recycled because they are on their last leg and they really need to be thrown out. So some of these shoes I just want to mention here, but they are going to be recycled and replaced with some of the other shoes that I still have in my collection. So without further ado, if you'd like to see the best and worst designer sneakers in my collection from brands like Chanel, Hermes, and even Dior, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet, and keep on watching. Let's jump straight in and start with a pair of sneakers that was actually the latest addition to my sneaker collection, which are these low-top sneakers from Celine. This is a pair of sneakers that was on my wish list. I want to say for the past year, I was trying to hunt these down all throughout 2022, but I couldn't get my hands on them in the right size until I want to say December of last year. And I have pretty much not been able to stop wearing them. They are some of the most comfortable and most versatile sneakers out there. They go with anything and everything. You can dress them up, dress them down. I have worn them with sweats, but I have also worn it with a full-on runway suit. So this is definitely a pair of sneakers that I would highly recommend that you invest in. But do keep in mind that they run incredibly big. I think I had to size down almost two full sizes. I ended up getting these in a size 41, even though I'm usually a 42 and a half sometimes even a 43. Moving on, why don't we talk about my Chanel sneaker collection, which if you guys have been with me for a while, you'll know this, that I have this sort of love-hate relationship with Chanel. Some seasons I love them, others I cannot stand anything that they do except their sneakers. I will never, ever, ever stop buying their sneakers because their sneakers are insanely comfortable. And just like the previous Celine sneakers, they go with so many different things. And I think this was my gateway into Chanel sneakers, which at this point I only really wear to the gym because these are insanely lightweight. And really the best way to describe what wearing these feels like is to say that they're bouncy. There's just something really bouncy about them. So this is something that I usually wear to the gym, but I love these sneakers and I would definitely consider repurchasing them. And in case you're interested, I did buy these in a 42 and a half. So they do run through the size, but I think I would probably get them in a 42 if I was to buy them again, just because they are made of fabric, they did stretch. A tiny bit and then speaking of sneakers that are made of canvas not leather this was my first pair of bowling shoes from Chanel as I like to call them which it's such a shame that Chanel is not more creative when it comes to naming their sneakers all their sneakers are called a sneaker even though they have so many different styles at this point so let's just call these the bowling shoes which or my favorite type of sneakers from Chanel. This was my first pair, which was from the Pharrell collaboration. So these had this really cool hand painted and hand embroidered pattern all over them, which as you guys can see, these shoes have seen better days, but unfortunately there's just no way of cleaning them. I have taken them back to Chanel several times and every single time I was told that there's really nothing that they can do to them because they have this pattern that they don't really want to touch. So. I haven't really been wearing them even though I love what these add to an outfit. They are so fun, they are so colorful, and I definitely got plenty of wear out of these in the summer. So maybe I'll try to take them to one of my local department stores. I saw that they started offering this 
it's kind of like a sneaker repair or a sneaker cleaning service. So I do want to take these in as well as another pair of sneakers coming up. So I'll keep you posted because in this current state, I just really don't think that these are sneakers that I can wear comfortably. And then moving on, I do also have these Chanel sneakers, by the way, in white leather, which I didn't show here also because they have seen better days. But a newer addition to my Chanel sneaker collection was this one, which I ended up buying in, I want to say 2021. I remember buying these in London, which are half suede, half tweed, which let's be honest, it doesn't get any more Chanel than these. I really don't wear these too much because they're navy blue and... As you guys can see, I mainly wear white sneakers or black sneakers that have a white sole to them, but I do love the way these look and I would love to hunt them down in black, which I don't know if they ever made these sneakers in black, but if they ever do, I'll be the first person to get them because I think these sneakers are so unbelievably special. And let's be honest, no one does tweet quite like Chanel does. And then the latest addition to my Chanel collection was this pair of sneakers, which is the exact same bowling shoes. As you guys can tell, I'm a big fan of this style. They're really comfortable and they are quite formal. So if you are looking for a pair of sneakers that you can style with more formal outfits or even outfits that need to be elevated, this is really a good style to look into and these are in black leather which if you want to find out more about i'll make sure to have i think i ended up buying these in copenhagen so i'll make sure to have my copenhagen vlogs linked down below for you in case you haven't noticed i am truly a creature of habit when it comes to sneakers just because buying shoes is the one luxury thing that doesn't get me that excited i mean don't get me wrong i am really grateful for all the shoes that i own but it's the one thing that just I don't particularly love buying. So usually when I find a style that I love, I keep going back to it until it falls apart. And then I'll go back to the boutique and buy it in another colorway. And that's exactly what happened here with the Dior B30 sneakers, which I remember sharing in a vlog of mine. So I ended up buying them in this neutral colorway, which I loved, got plenty of wear out of. And these are, by the way, the other pair that's going to be going to my local department store to be cleaned. I hope they'll be able to do it. And if they do, I'll make sure to share a little update with you in an upcoming vlog or in an upcoming video of mine. But anyway, going back to the B30 sneakers, if you are looking for a pair of sneakers that are really, really comfortable, they're quite chunky, but not overwhelming, a pair of sneakers that plays into this orthopedic sort of ugly grandpa shoe trend but doesn't go overboard this is really a great style to look into and the reason i wore these so much is because you don't actually have to tie the laces on these shoes there is an elastic band inside which means that you can just slip your feet in there and the shoes won't fall off so when we first got the baby when we first got pie these shoes were a godsend because i didn't have to tie the laces every single time which back then we had to take him outside to use the bathroom 12 to 15 times a day it was so easy to just slip these on and don't have to worry about them and i love these sneakers so much that i ended up getting them in all black too which is quite rare that i buy sneakers in all black just because i wear so much black so many black outfits i like for the shoes to be a different color mainly white or if i'm going to buy black shoes i want the sole to be at least white just to help break up and elevate my outfit so it's rare that i buy an old black pair of shoes but these had these silver accents and they were also quite nostalgic they were really 90s to me and they reminded me of this show that i grew up watching which i think was called i think the show was called power rangers and they gave me quite a bit of that energy so even though they are all black, which is not my preferred colorway when it comes to sneakers, it's still a pair of shoes that I love. So if you're looking for a chunky pair of sneakers that is unbelievably comfortable, you can throw on and be out the door. This is definitely something that I would love to put on your radar. Jumping over to one of our favorite brands, Hermes here. This was my first pair of sneakers from Hermes, which were called the Miles sneakers. I think I bought these around 2016 i want to say because believe it or not when i first started shopping at hermes about a decade ago they really didn't have too many noteworthy shoes available they kept making the exact same four five pairs of shoes for men which were more old school traditional dress shoes 
and boots. They really didn't have too many interesting sneakers. I mean, I guess they did have sneakers, but they looked quite orthopedic. So this was a groundbreaking, really young, fun, and contemporary design for them. And it really has sort of revived Hermes as we know it today. So these were the first fun young sneakers that Hermes introduced and I love these. The only criticism that I had is that the first batch that they released, which this is from that first drop, the sole was actually they were made up of these large letter H's. So you never felt like you were walking on an even ground. It always felt a little wobbly, which I do think they fixed with the second and third drops. I mean, these shoes are no longer in production, but if they ever bring them back and you're tempted by them, or if you see them on the pre-love market, which these do pop up quite often, make sure that the age is a little bit more shallow than they are on mine because it is quite an interesting feeling to try to walk in these but other than that they're super comfortable and as you can see they have worn beautifully especially considering how much i mean i probably did not stop wearing these for at least a solid year and moving on to one of my Holy Grail RMS designs, my Avanta sneakers, which who remembers me buying these back in 2020? This was a design that I could not stop talking about. And let me quickly give you a trigger warning here. I know that these shoes are disgustingly dirty. They have actually been demoted to being my dog park shoes. So these are the shoes that I have been wearing to the dog park when it's raining, when it's muddy, when it's dusty, which let's be honest, it's always dusty. So that's the reason these are so just nasty looking and believe it or not I did try to wipe these off before I filmed this but this is as good as I could get it but I just cannot get rid of these shoes I love them so much I love this style so even though they are as dirty as they are it's still something that I cannot stop wearing. So I have been wearing these to the dog park and I so wish I could replace them, which Hermes is technically offering this design for the current and upcoming seasons, but only in some weird color combinations. I think for spring, summer, they're doing them in navy suede with white and red accents, which unless I'm going to a 4th of July party, I'm not going to wear any one of those colors especially not when it comes to shoes but this is definitely a design that I loved and I so wish they brought back and I love these so much that of course I had to get them in orange too which looks slightly better not much better but they are still something that I can't get away with a brand that I only ever bought one pair of sneakers from and I think it was not only my first but also my last sneaker these are the so-called Dean sneakers from the row which I did share with you in an unboxing of mine but I don't think I ever gave you an update on these which I would say that I have worn these a handful of times and I'm not going to wear them any longer because they are so insanely uncomfortable and I just have to say this I'm not particularly finicky when it comes to sneakers like I don't have any issues with my arch I don't need special shoes usually I can get on well with most sneakers but these I don't know how but these are some of the most uncomfortable shoes that I have ever put on as soon as I put these on my feet and take two steps my arch starts hurting and my feet start shaking. I think just because these are so flat, there's something not right about these sneakers, but I had high hopes because these are inspired by some of my favorite sneakers, my Celine skater shoes, which I will show you. I do have, I think, two pairs of those sneakers left. I did have a few of them when they first launched because I love them so much. But at this point, I have a black silk pair left. And then I have a green, I think like wool felt finish, which is in storage. But I do have the black silk one here, which these are the shoes that need to be recycled. I've been holding on to them, hoping for some miracle, hoping that one day I'll be able to revive them. But there's just no way back. These shoes need to be thrown out. But... I really hope with Phoebe's new brand launching in September, she will bring out some comparable shoes to these because I loved, loved, loved these so much. So I had high hopes that maybe the road Dean sneakers would be able to replace these, but unlike the Celine ones, which are insanely comfortable, the Dean sneakers, I don't really know what it is, but they are just agony to wear. I'm thinking that maybe I could buy an insole for them and that would help. I have not tried that but I am going to have to give it a shot since I'm not going to have my Celine sneakers anymore. But if you're interested, as I've said it before, when it comes to the row, all the ready-to-wear pieces have my stamp of approval, but I really would not spend 
my hard-earned money on any one of their shoes or even accessories. And speaking of saving money, if you're thinking, gee, I have no idea what's wrong with you, I would never spend this kind of money on a pair of sneakers, which I completely understand, laugh your way to the bank, but do buy these shoes, which are my favorite Reebok sneakers. I think everyone has a favorite sneaker brand. Some people love Adidas, some people love Nike. I am a Reebok guy through and through. These are my favorite sneakers. They are classic. They have been duped and copied even by brands like Dior, but these are still the sneakers that I go back to every single time. So if you are looking for a more budget-friendly pair of sneakers, that still looks just flawless and will go with anything. Reebok sneakers are, in my opinion, the way to go. But this completes today's video on my everyday designer sneaker collection. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and please let me know in the comment section if you'd like me to do a video perhaps on other types of shoes that I have, maybe my dress shoes and loafers, maybe a video on my favorite and least favorite boots. Let me know if that's something that you would be interested in. And while you're down there, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. I really appreciate you being here and watching and I hope to see you back here with a new video really, really soon.